the Rockets control the opening tip and will get this one started. Yao drains the first bucket of the game. He saw the height in this match and went to work immediately. That's smart basketball. Got a hand on it. Alston passes it up court. Here's number four. Hits the jump hook. Stolen. Flipped past the D and got the gimme bucket. They got to make it harder than that on him. And now our sideline reporter Cheryl Miller has some information for us. Let's check in with the Gatorade around the cooler update. Thanks, Kevin. A little while ago, I spoke with Rick Adelman, coach of the Rockets. I asked him how he thought the team could turn things around from the last game. He says, we've got to have better shot selection. We struggle because we were forcing it. We've got to be smarter out there, read the defense, and make the extra pass. Kevin? I tell you, if I had a nickel for every time I heard a coach say that, I'd be a rich man. Well, there's a reason, Kev. That's playing basketball the right way. 57 seconds left in the first. T-Man goes up, drops it in on the layup. Boy, he's really special. The defense has to account for him at all times. Butler lays it right in. Butler has the right idea. Squeeze in close and knock it down. The handoff to Yao. Backs in. Despite his height, he's choosy with his dunk. But when he does, make way. Here's Butler. Buries it. Butler did a nice job of getting open and knocking down the jumper. That's a nice play. Alston dumps it off. Scola takes it up. Yao gets the board inside. Hands it off to Scola. To Yao. Releases, connects from 13 feet out. You've got to close out on that mid-range jump shot. He's extremely deadly from there. The Wizards touched it last. Both teams will make substitutions. Yao inbounds the ball. Hit. Yao is on it. Takes it up. Buries the teardrop layup. He wasn't thinking at all in that pass. That's what you call bad decision making. There's the horn, and we end an exciting first quarter. The score, 14 to 8. The Rockets have taken the early lead. They're making the extra pass and finding guys for open looks. I love the discipline they've shown in their offense so far. All right, the second quarter should begin momentarily. Butler inbounds it to start the second quarter. Daniels, way up court. Here's Young. Landry is on it. He's usually automatic from that close. The defense must have affected him. Yao pulls the trigger. Misses the jumper. Yao has been so reliable from mid-range, you almost assume he's knocking it down every time. But not this time. 128 left in the second. Him. With the smooth finger roll. No one really contested him at the basket that time, Kevin. He's just too good in there to leave the door open for him. He's pummeled and will have a chance for two at the line. Can't sink the first. off on the second. Sweet rebound by the seven-year veteran out of China. Passes it to Battier. Battier has the ability to find the three. All he needs is just a little breathing room like that. Daniels gets the bucket. He's not going to let anyone get the best of him. He'll trade threes with you all game. Dishes it to head with the shot. 
the mark with the triple. Classic case of one good three deserves another. Took too long inbounding the ball. That's a five-second violation. Both teams will make substitutions. Battier inbounds the ball. Couldn't push the lead to double digits. The shot was missed by Alston. Alston always looks to take it hard to the rack, but that was a major contest. The defense was all over him. The Rockets could opt for the quick shot here. That would leave him with the final possession. Hands it off. Battier backs him down. Here's Alston. Nails the easy jumper. Austin got a terrific look at that one. And you could tell from the moment it left his fingers that it was going in. Arenas shoots it up. Connects on the baseline jumper. Right now, he's just too good, Kevin. Way too good. They need to bring a second defender and try to make him give up the ball. Landry has it. High post. Fires top of the key. Goes up. Tries to drop it in, but it won't go. And that concludes the first half. The score, 24 to 17. The Rockets have been on the scoring tear, Kevin. Yeah, they've really been hot. Now it's time for our T-Mobile. Well, the second half will begin in just a few moments. Haywood inbounds it to start the second half. Arenas snaps the net. Well, he's proven to be a streaky shooter, Kevin. And right now, he's on a hot streak. Time for the Gatorade around the cooler update. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Cheryl Miller. Cheryl? Well, as he came out of the Rockets locker room, I spoke with coach Rick Adam, who told me that he's pleased with the league, but knows his team could play better the remainder of the game. He was concerned with all the open shots they were giving up defensively. He wants his team to focus on closing out on the shooters and making sure not to give up any easy baskets. Guys? It makes a world of difference when you challenge shots, and they haven't been able to do that so far. Let's see if they can change that in the second half. It's good from beyond the arc. 113 left in the third quarter. Arenas. He can't hit the first. He sinks the second. Scola inbounds the ball. The feed to Yao. Alston hands it off. Rebounded. Yao snares the offensive rebound and sends it home. The Rockets just owning the inside right now, Clark. Can they be stopped? It doesn't look like it. They just keep pounding it inside and getting points on every possession. If they keep doing what they're doing, they'll be fine. Yao is an absolute force in the paint out there. He's very comfortable down in that low box area, and defenders have a tough time dealing with him. They have to keep feeding him the ball the way he's performing out there. It, it seems like with every touch he gets inside, it's an easy layup regardless of who's on him. The Wizards will bring out some reserves. Artest dumps it off. Blocked. Nice weak side block there. Great job bringing the help defense. Stevenson. McCready. Snatched down. The D was lurking on that one, and it was just enough to throw off the shot. To Alston. Hold in. 18 seconds left in the third. Arenas. Flips it in for two. Battier inbounds the ball. Alston. Oh, just missed it. But he drew contact, and he'll head to the line. Knocks it down. Gets them both.
Daniel passes way down court. Both teams continue to fill it up as we conclude the third. The score, 33 to 24. Yao has played his heart out. 14. All right, the fourth quarter should begin momentarily. Our test inbounds it to start the fourth quarter. Alston backs him down. Score. It's in! A ton of assists by the 10th year veteran out of St. John's. That's a strong finish inside. That's where you want to work your magic, Kevin. Whoa! Flushes it with the one-handed jam. Haywood isn't known as a big dunker, but given a chance, he'll rip it down with no hesitation. Set up, set up. Watch outside. Alston. It stays here. Arenas is really in the zone and is racking up the points in bunches. He certainly has. He's getting all the looks he wants and is finishing his chances. Washington needs to do something to get him out of his rhythm before it's too late. The dump off to Yao. Passes to Alston. My goodness, he can't be happy about that play. That was ugly. Oh! Puts the hammer down. Our test inbounds the ball. Wow. It's been all offense all game. Everybody's got the hot hand. Yeah. Jameson, that's his third rebound of the contest. Stevenson knocks down the three. Stevenson is an absolute killer from out there. The deep played tough, but gave him a little daylight, and that's all he needs. Score. Our test feeds to t -Map. The Rockets with the bucket. 50 seconds left to the fourth. The Wizards are the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. You can't be careless with the ball. That's a loss of focus, plain and simple. Jameson is swatting down anything that is thrown at the hoop. When you have a big presence in the middle like that, how do you adjust your game? The key is to go in there strong and with confidence. And you also can't rush. you got to take your time and concentrate on the rim when you're facing the shot block. To score. Yeah, we have it over now. They're doing whatever they want out there. 33 seconds left in the game. Stevenson. Get that weak mess. It's two on one. The three. Oh! Rips it down. Butler inbounds the ball. Looks like a slim chance for a comeback here. Great win. Arenas did a nice job of getting open and knocking down the jumper. That's a nice play. The Rockets will dribble off the clock, and it's all over. Haywood reaching foul. to a decisive game seven as they beat the Wizards 42 to 33. Yao is the Jordan Brand player of the game and he was spectacular.